Hello and welcome back. Thanks for joining me in the garage today. We'll be taking a look at the uh, lift. Uh, we'll review how this thing works, uh, go over some of the details. We'll also be loading up the uh, R8 here and getting her put away for the winter. Let's get started here. So first off, this is a bend pack four post lift. It's model HD-9XW. Uh, it's actually the higher version of their lift. Uh, so I can walk all the way under this thing. I'm six foot one. Uh, just for reference, my garage ceiling is about 12 and a half feet. Uh, so it is nice to have the extra uh, room for the high lift. One caveat to the uh, bend pack lifts is in order to disengage the locks and lower the lift, uh, you have to hook up an air compressor uh, to the connection here. Uh, it's not a huge deal, it's an extra safety feature. Okay, let's take a look at how to lower this guy here. So you need to have your air compressor hooked up uh, to the connection here. You have your button here to release the, uh, the locks, the air locks on the uh, posts. And then you can hold the lever down here to lower it. You have to hold the airlock down the entire time. And when there's not a car on there, it probably takes, I don't know, about a minute, a minute and a half to lower all the way. Okay, let's take a closer look at the lift and uh, some of the accessories. Uh, it comes with two of these yellow wheel stops here. Uh, I also purchased two of the uh, drip pans just to protect the car underneath. Uh, the lift comes with two yellow steel ramps that are connected. We'll take a look at that in a minute, but those are pretty heavy and they're, you need to cut them off of here, uh, in my opinion, and get the uh, lightweight aluminum extended ramps. Also regarding the installation, uh, my lift is not bolted to the ground. I think Ben Pack told me like 95% of people uh, do not bolt theirs to the ground it's nice to be able to move it around. You can actually get an accessory set of wheels, which I have as well. So as I was able to really position this exactly where I wanted it in the uh, two bay garage here. Um, and I haven't had any problems with it at all. It's, you know, a little bit scary at first because there's a little bit of sway. Uh, but actually when you have a car on there, it stabilizes the whole thing and uh, you get used to it over time. Okay, let's get the ramps in place. Like I said, these are super lightweight compared to the stock ramps. They just slide right into the end of the ramp here. And these really help if you have a low profile car so you don't scrape the front on the uh, way in or out. Okay, let's get the R8 plugged into the trickle charger here. So I like the C-Tech trickle chargers and you can get a um, pigtail that you can plug into the uh, battery terminals and then an extension cord here that goes right into the charger. Makes it a lot easier. Don't forget to put the wheel blocks in. Okay, let's raise this bad boy up. It's a lot easier uh, than coming down. You just have to press uh, this power button right here. It 
it's a little bit loud, but as it goes up, you'll hear a, a, a loud clanking sound, and that's each one of the uh, locks engaging as it goes up and trips a lock. It comes out from underneath so that it can't uh, drop down. Okay, one final thing you want to do after you have it raised all the way up, you want to use the lever and lower it onto the top lock. And that's going to make sure that there's no tension on the uh, cables and it's resting on the actual locks here. Hi, family. Hi. Come on in. Say hi to the camera. Hi. This is Chase. Okay, <laughs> love you. You're not going to walk under the lift? It's so safe. <laughs> no way. Come on, Monique. Hi, Calvin. Hello. You're on camera. <laughs> Daddy? Yeah. Okay. Don't put us on here. Yeah, it's going to be a blooper. No. Do not. It's a blooper. You're on. Say hi. No, I don't feel safe walking under this thing. Ready, Pookie? Let's go. Okay, we've got everything loaded up. Uh, a few other remarks about the uh, bend pack lift. Uh, they're made in the, in the U.S. They're a little bit more expensive. And also, like I said, it does require a, uh, an air compressor to disengage the locks. Some people might see that as a con, but it is an extra safety feature. Um, the bin pack lift, it, it looks very clean. Everything is, is nicely contained underneath uh, this ramp. There's a hydraulic cylinder. You can see all of the cables. Everything is neatly tucked away. Um, I've had no issues with it. I probably need to get it serviced. You're supposed to do that uh, once a year. I actually purchased this lift uh, directly from Ben Pack online. Customer service was, was great to work with, no issues. Again, you have to buy some of the additional accessories. Um, they shipped it directly to my house on a pallet and then uh, on Benpack on their website, I was able to find a local installer. There were several different options. I called around, uh, found a guy here in the Indy area. He came out within a couple of days. It took him about four hours to uh, assemble this. Uh, he also filled it with hydraulic fluid, tested it, uh, he did have to come out one more time after I got a car up here and, and kind of readjust the, uh, uh, the cables uh, to make sure that uh, you know, the, the weight was evenly distributed and the, the locks were catching appropriately. Um, otherwise, I've had no problems with the lift. I've been using it for uh, about a year and a half now. Mostly uh, the reason to get a four post lift mostly for storage, but you can still uh, work on your vehicles. Uh, there's another accessory that is a, um, uh, a hydraulic jack that, that slides right onto the um, uh, ramps, and you can use that to lift your vehicle, uh, exchange out the wheels, uh, and things like that. So I'll be looking into getting that next. All right, that's it for this episode. Uh, again, thank you for watching. I'll be available in the comments section uh, for any questions you might have. And um, stay tuned for more garage content coming soon.